everyone plays football manager and thinks they can take a team from non-league to Champions League in real life, they are known as weapons. It's here, it's now, it's game day. And here we are once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. It's another fantastic episode of All or Nothing, your favourite show of the week, where we see another midweek game of fantastic action, where we will be playing at Ford Park where we welcome Rushton and Hyam for this midweek fixture, where it's Langford v Rushton and Hyam in the South Spartan and Midlands Division 1. Oh, and did we catch a whopper last season, lads? <laughs> always upsetting someone. But remember, he's played at a high standard, so he understands the game better than the rest of us. But anyway, that's another chatting. Bollocks. Let's get into football. News. So Rushton and Heim United finished 18th last season after 38 games on 27 points. But remember, he understands the game better than everyone. John Shanks is the manager. He took charge on the 29th of the 12th, 2023, where he's taken 27 games. He's won six, he's drew one, and he's lost 20. And that gives him a win percentage of 24.074. But remember, he understands the game better than us. Are you sure about that? And this is how Russian and Heim United's danger men looked last season. I don't care about the I don't give a fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. The 11th of the 4th, 2024. Funny enough, that was a midweek game. Langford 2, Rushton and Heim United 1. Baz and Perry with our goals. So, with that all being said, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's get the fuck out of here. At the Langy. <laughs> Hello there. We set the standard against London Coleman. We have set our stall out last season and this season to be brave footballers. Brave on the ball. When I say brave, I don't mean brave in a tackle, winning a 50-50. I expect that standard. I mean brave as in receiving the ball in tight areas and pushing the opposition backwards. Looking to break the lines. Looking for that brave pass. That pass that wouldn't necessarily be there. From the back to the middle, it's been there. For whatever reason, when we get into the final third, our decision making and our execution of that pass, way too poor. We've had players coming in from wide that could get a shot off, decided to pass. We've had players that should have passed that have decided to shoot. Football is not rocket science. You're all talented lads. You all understand the game, otherwise you wouldn't be playing at this level. What you need to do is get a little bit more composure in the final third. If we've got the ball, we will create spaces. But what you've got to do today, and what I don't think you have been doing, is trusting in each other. When we get out on that pitch today, I expect us to get three points. But I expected us to get that against Brawns. I expect us to get that against Huntingdon. And although we controlled the game in the tempo in both games, we come away with two points. So we've dropped four points. Four points put to spur up the league. The ambition is there. The vision is there. For all of you. So it's now time to start fucking believing in yourself, blowing off the fucking cobwebs, and going out there and fucking delivering. Yes? Yeah. yeah. Right. Stuart Robertson, Gaffer. Josh, Keeper. Freddie Stilworthy, Defender. Michael Picard, Defender. Ethan Clark, Defender. Sam Onions, defender. 
Tommy Jarrett up, they throw it up. Flat, attacker. Damn more, striker. Adam Turner, defender. Gambizi, attacker. Graham Basra, winger. George, midfielder. Jake Younger, defender. And the referee gives a signal for Russian Haim United to get this game underway. Quick throw in taken by Onions into Professor Green. Back into Onions. There's a push, no foul given. As he plays it into Mr. Casual. He will square that over to Longus in the shower. Plays it over to our Brexit. Does well to control it. Into the artist. Looking for his movement and he plays it back into our Brexit. Driving down his right. Can he deliver? He can. Betty Boy get a shot, he can. And the goalkeeper's close down to his left hand side. Nice early chance. Nil nil. Free kick to Langford to be played in by Professor Green. In the box for the imposter. It's harder to miss than it is score. And that will go for a goal kick. That's a long punt from the Russian goalkeeper. Bad touch by the Russian player, but Longson and Cheryl played it back into the spicy Italian. He's been closed down by number nine. Oh, we could be in a bit of danger here. Spicy Italian's cutting some moves on the dance floor, but Mr. Casual, just how he is, will just calmly play that back into the Spicy Italian. Spicy Italian says sorry for that one. As the counter attack is on, the flag has gone up. Goalkeeper to lift the free kick in. As we've won the first contact, Professor Green, he's lost that. Number nine leaves it for number six, Professor Green having a little tussle. Ungus is getting involved. They're coming for a penalty, but the referee's got a good view on that and says no, that will be a goal kick. Fantastic decision, referee. Well done, you. Russian goalkeeper does love a diag, but he's giving it away into the artist. He takes on his man and beats him. He's beaten one, driving into the box. He cuts back in. He's had a left foot shot. It's just wide. Long as in the showers, turn to do a diag now as he sees the artist, and it's a one on one foot race. We already know that the artist has the beating of his man. As he goes down the near side, another shot. Oh, keeper's just got in front. Otherwise, that was an open goal for Benny Boy. All the specimen. Goalkeeper's keeping him in it at the moment. The Russian goalkeeper with a nice big punt. The screen misses the first contact. But Mr. Casual looking to launch this into their off. And he does. The specimen's chasing it down. He's got a battle as he wins it against number four. He knocks it past number five. Shot! Straight out of goalkeeper. Anywhere else. And that's a goal. And we're 1 0 up. He's hit it two sweets. Never really understood that saying. How can you hit it so sweet and you still don't come away with anything? Russian is sitting quite deep, which is allowing Longest in the shower to step forward as he plays it into the imposter. Imposter looking for movement. He's a little bit congested. He plays it back into Longest in the shower. Russian is sitting very deep back into the imposter. The imposter trying to find space as he pulls away. Plays it into hard breaks. It was played a little one into Romanian Usain Bolt, who plays it into Professor Green, who's played it straight back to him, and the Romanian Usain Bolt is off. And it's a shot on the keeper again, has kept them in it. Number four will clear that for a corner. The specimen is not happy with that. Not really sure what more we could have done, but we are still trying to break this deadlock. Professor Green plays this free kick in. Mr. Cash has gone for a bit of a lie down. Longest in the shower plays it over into the imposter. He's gone down, and so has a Russian high end player. Everyone's having a nap now that it's night time. Absolute carnage. It's like the demolition derby in the box. Corner to be played in by Professor Green as it is cleared by a Russian high arm defender. But Mr. Casual will play this back in to the imposter. And how has he not scored that? He's had a free header. He's only got to keep it a beat. We can't quite believe it. But that's why he's called the imposter. Quick free kick taken by Onions. All the way over to the remaining Usain Bolts. Half time's closing in. It's still nil nil. Remaining Usain Bolt lifts that into the specimen who has an overhead kick. But it's landed kindly to the artist who's had a shot. And it's in. Yes, get in there. The only time the goalkeeper has not been able to keep that one out. We are 1-0 up. It's only what we deserve in this first half. Get in there. As the ref blows for Russian Heim to get the game underway after conceding. The ref also calls for half-time. What a way to go in at half-time. Scoring right at the end. Langford 1, Russian Heim United 0. Let's hear what the pub landlords have to say. Listen, guys, come on. We haven't won the game yet. It's half-time. We've absolutely dominated. This is one of those games 
where you dominate the game and end up kicking yourself. We have missed multiple chances. We've had six or seven chances like that. Could have got it out of our feet quicker than hit you. And that's what you've got to do. That's what you spoke about before. We talk about it every week. Out of our feet, bang. The longer you take, the more they get set up. The more they get behind the ball. But the fact that we're only one means they are in it. They don't deserve to be in the game. You are far better than them. It's not fair on you to have a team like that, that close to you. I've heard some of their players coming off saying, we're in this game. We can get back in it. It should be over. But sometimes we just have to be a little bit more agricultural here. As soon as you start wide, then your starting position is good enough to go right at you. Because they're right back so fat, you can start wide and just go oh, straight, yeah, straight yeah. at you. Emotional damage! What did I say at the beginning? The execution of pass in the final third had to be better. We've taken over from where we left off at London Colony. We're on the front foot. We are controlling the game superbly. I don't think we've controlled the game in 45 minutes as well this season as we have done there. But complacency loses us this game here today. Ultra critical. Several fucking good chances that we've not taken. And it's so frustrating watching it. Against Huntingdon, we got into some decent areas without actually being very threatening. Today, we should be coming in comfortable. We should be coming in now. Say, right boys, who do we want to rest for the bars game? That's how <coughs> top you are. The longer you dilly dally, stop dilly dallying, and you allow them to feel that they're in this game, the more pressure you're putting on yourselves. The more 50 50s they start to fight for. They're poor, very poor. Across the whole pitch, they're poor. Right up until Berth pulled that one right at the end. Is he changed to team talk? It wasn't it's going to be this calm? He turned like a truck, then left back. <laughs> Why are you winning the individual battle? You want to fight or something? Hey, 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 hey. And a referee has signaled for us to get the second half underway. We're both on the pub landlords. Let's see what the second half brings. Now that we have approached night time, my eyes ain't as good as they used to be. I am not as young as I once was, or maybe it's the VO camera. You make the decision. As Onions looks to throw this into the specimen, who looks to play this into the middle. It's a bad touch by the Russian player. The remaining Usain Bolt will cut that out, play it into the imposter who lifts it over Benny Boy as he tries to play this into the specimen. Is he broke down? No, the referee will say no, that's not a penalty. I'm not sure if we was appealing for it either. Russian looking to get into their half. They do play ball down the right hand side. We're trying to call offside. Get your arm down, mate. I don't know where you went to football in school. That was shocking. Ball played all the way over to the other side as the remaining Usain Bolt looks to close this down. And it's been given away by the Russian player. Poorly into the remaining Usain Bolt who played it into the imposter, who lifts us over to the specimen, who knocks it back into the imposter. What is this sexy football into the specimen as he's closing down? Oh, that's an horrible touch. Christ almighty. When did we sign Lukaku? Golden Bennett. Corner to be whipped in by Professor Green. Rushton don't clear it properly as it will land back into Professor Green. Plays this into the artist looking to deliver and he does into the specimen. And he's got a 50p head over the bar. Professor Green looking to drop the shoulder as he fancies this one 25 yards out. And the goalkeeper will have that. Just like the first half, same as this half so far. One-way traffic. We haven't seen much of him this half, so we'll give him a mention. The spicy Italian will roll it into Mr. Casual. Pretty much like him, we haven't seen much of him either. Well, when the whole game's played in their half, what do you expect? As Mr. Casual looks to drop the shoulder on number seven. That is a foul on the halfway line. Referee, get your cards out, mate. And he is. And that's the second yellow, and he sent the skipper off. You absolute dirty northern bastard. How dare you kick my player like that? Disgusting challenge. You should be banned for 10 games. Good decision, that ref. Well done, mate. Longest in the shower. Place this into the remaining Usain Bolt. Our Brexit is looking to overlap. The remaining Usain Bolt looks to cut in, duck and dive, but he's been cut out. But he will win the ball back, as he does now play into hard Brexit, who looks to deliver. And he does. There's a little flick. Specimen and the goalkeeper's been called into action. Tips over for a corner. Brian to Langford as hard Brexit will play this into the specimen who looks to flick this on to Longs in the shower. What's he doing up there? Has he got a nosebleed? Ball's given away to Onions into the imposter who is looking to break lines and he does and he sees a remaining Usain Bolt when he's off. Here we go. Ball's played in. It's taking a slice. Hold the affection. Is that over the line? Yes, it is, and it's 2 0. A slice of luck, a slice of cake while we're at it. A little bit like Steven Chipolo. It's Huntington. Was it a shot? Was it a cross? I don't care. It's over the line. That's all that matters. Duncan, what do you think? We're going to win the league. I mean, we are only six games in, but you know, you've got to be confident. And that from the imposter, perfect weighted pass, makes up the three glorious chances he missed in the first half. 2 0 Langford. Get it up. Remaining Usain Bolt into the specimen who plays it into the imposter as the into Benny Boy. And he'll play that into the remaining Usain Bolt. You ain't going to catch him. The specimen's free. The ball has been played into him. First time effort. And it's hit the goalkeeper. Oh, trying harder not to score than we are. Professor Green sees remaining Usain Bolt in loads of space. Can he deliver? He can. The specimen's unmarked. And he's hit it over the bar. Someone check his online bet in a can. I swear he is match fixing not to score. Is that onions? 
And it's a swipe there, referee. Yep, Lolano seen it as well. Referee, come on, get your card tag. Yep, that's a straight red. He has been given his marching orders. Russian Heim United and they're down to nine men. Absolutely disgusting challenge. Well done, referee, for being strong enough to see it and give it. Not only are you 2 0 Dan, you are now down to nine men. You complete and utter sausages. Russian Heim are giving away the ball into the artist who plays it into Kemu, has no nickname, and it's just wide. Good effort. Steven H. Perlo from 25 yards. He's had a shot, but he's also been kicked. Effort's just gone wide, but that's another player going into the book. That's what they've resorted to in kicking us because they can't get near us. Nice battle there between the Flash and the Rushton player as he plays it over to the artist who looks to drop the shoulder, has a shot, keeps pushing onto the post. Oh! And Steven H. Perlo is looking to follow up, and the referee has seen enough for tonight and calls the game quits, where it ends three points to Langford in a 2 0 victory. We now turn our attention to cup action on Saturday. Let's hear what the pub landlords have to say. Sorry. Very professional, well done, nasty game, horrible team to play again. We kept our professionalism, come out comfortable, comfortable winners. We should have and could have scored a lot more, particularly against nine men. You can only get three points in a game. We controlled the game better first half against 11. For the second half, because it got a little bit easier, we were trying to force it a little bit too much and the tempo just dropped off massively. It's hard to take a lot from a game when they're as dirty as that. We're not going to play another team as dirty as that. The character that you lot showed by not getting involved in the stupidity. Man on the map, we agree. I don't know, who was it? Steve Burford. Yeah, Burford. That was down. And you think Matt didn't want to play you? We'll show you the messages. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't fit, he ain't fit. Hey, I bet that doesn't get any all or nothing. Buff, a fantastic 2 0 win tonight. You just come back from feeling unwell. You've got yourself on the score sheet. How do you think you played? First and foremost, when I big up the lads, I thought we done well. Yeah, I did feel a bit unwell, just came back from a flu. After the first half, I think my second win kind of just kicked in. Good to get on the score sheet as well. So, final score 2 0. Amount of chances we had, it could have been a cricket score, even when they had 11 men on the pitch. And next up is the FA Vars. Away to Halston Tan. You know what to do. Omar, sing them out. Oh, yeah.